If leaving from the airport in Quito, after getting through customs, follow the signs to make your way outside to the buses. The green bus that will take you to the bus station to get to Quito should have a sign on the window. You can always ask to be sure. In my experience, most people do not speak English here, so just be prepared as much as you can. As soon as I got to the bus, they were ready to pull off. You can look up directions on Google Maps to make sure that you know what the schedule is. Make sure you have offline maps downloaded on your phone while you still have service if you don't plan to get a plan while in Ecuador. If you're going all the way to the bus terminal, the cost is $2.50 US. The attendant will come around and collect the fee. It says that it will take less than an hour to get to the bus station, but because of all of the stops, give yourself more than an hour just in case. less than a half hour left to get to the bus terminal, just sit back and enjoy the ride. One of the best $2.50 rides you'll ever take. So the bus lets you off across the street from this sign. I kept walking past it down the street to the right on that same side of the street. I was told to go down the green set of stairs. After finding this entrance, I walked up the steps. The location in the terminal where you purchased your bus ticket is at the lower level of the bus station. So you leave from the San Francisco bus and you make a right, you go all the way up and to the left. I hope I'm going the right place, let's see. The ticket, she gave you the parking number, which bus, the time, the name of the bus. Let's see if this is it. I might have to go through here. If you would like to use the bathroom before you get on the bus, you would have to pay 20 cent. This is the way to the buses. Go here and give the agent your ticket. Exit outside to the left and go towards the buses. The parking number and bus number should be listed on your ticket. They have snacks and beverages for your purchase if you would like to get some for your ride. They had a regular socket to be able to charge your phone. The ride to Banos is showing a little under three and a half hours, but again, due to all of the stops along with the bus not leaving on schedule, give yourself four hours or more just in case. 
And also, if you're sensitive to the noise around you, make sure you bring your earphones. There are several stops that they make, but if you're going all the way to Banos, the cost is five US dollars. Finally pulling off, let the journey begin. They make several stops along the way so that people can get on and sell you products, snacks, and beverages. I need one more. Less than a minute away. Finally arrived at the bus station in Banos. There are several taxis lined up if you need one. 
So, this has been my video on how to get from Quito to Banos for $7.50. If you made it this far, I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.